you and welcome to some Minecraft. I am on the district today, tonight here in Minecraft at any rate, and I am at Fort Finrod and I, it's not completed yet, but I have been talking about this build for a very long time and I thought, you know what, maybe it's time to just give a little bit of a tour of what I've been doing here. So the sun just went down before the mobs get too crazy. I'm just going to run out here real quick get my sword handy and show you that particular entrance anyway uh, I do have a lot of torches out so it should be okay but there's sort of the side entrance that little building over there was my only safety place when I started building this that was my little my little hole in the ground see Fort Finrod there it is it exists it is ready and I never trust my patient pressure plates to work so that's just a side entrance there these are just dirt ramps that lead up to the the walls and you can walk around the entire fort up here in this walkway now just a little bit of a you know quick little washroom thing going on in here just a little public thing you know sometimes you just got to get jobs done now this was inspired by the Alamo circa 1800s and there is the front of the chapel. The layout of the fort is actually relatively close to, or at least the, the broad strokes, relatively close to the Alamo at that particular time in history. And I hope that some part of the front of that is reminiscent. The inside of the chapel of course is not, you know, nothing at all has been done, but lots more left to do. See, these are just struts to hold up the dirt so it doesn't go away. Bracing, I guess. Now, this place is my home. This is my center of operations when I'm on the district, and I have tried to make this a home. This is a place to live, to take care of the animals. There's a little sheep pen. They've got their grass and a, um, you know, a nice shelter there. The, the climate here is wonderful and mild, and we don't really need indoor barns too much. Over here is just a storage place. We've got some storage. We've got some crafting things. Honey, you know, because you need a place to store the honey. <laughs> Absolutely. We've got some trees we've left grow. That one nice big one there with the big root system is kind of, kind of awesome. This one is, this area isn't done here. This is going to be, um, oh, maybe it is. Okay, I forgot I did this. this but see, this is going to be like for the, the, the soldiers, you know, the kind of men who arm this particular fort. Uh, there are, are different, there's families and there's, there's other things going on, but a lot, there's just a lot of soldiers, a lot of single men. So there are their beds, you know, their own little cabinet. You know, this guy does carvings. He's got a little train. A boat and a bottle. He's done a little wooden ship there. They can play darts. So hopefully, when you know this guy's not actually in bed, <laughs> they can sit around here and have snacks, play cards. Maybe um, there's a chess set. They can because they're soldiers. Aha! Get out and see all the bad guys that are starting to surround the place because it is evening. Look at this, Mister Decked Out in Pink guy here. So. Uh, again, you can walk the uh, you can walk the whole fort from here, not a problem. So that is one of the barrack rooms, and uh, yeah, more darts there, more beds, you know, little individual pieces. This guy is taking notes for something or reading. This guy, you know, goes to bed with his his bucket of beer or his mug of beer every night. Um, we have a clock, something to drink, snacks in case the guys you know get hungry in the middle of the night. I've got most of this lit up well enough. Now, you're not seeing a lot of the lights, but, okay, can you see those little white dots like that? I've got uh, glowstones down underneath this someplace. See? And then there's a carpenter's collapsible block, which is just flattened over it. So it lights the place up without, you know, having torches everywhere, because we know I, I like a lot of light. <laughs> we've, we've established that. So this is just a small room for married couples. Now, these forts, I don't know if you guys have ever been to some of the forts, but I, I have i have been to some, I like to travel a lot, and what they had for married couples was just absolutely horrifying in some cases. Um, 
One I went to would have a single small room, about the size of a large bedroom maybe today in a, an average house, and it would have curtains, just curtains up, and have four beds in it. And, and that's where four families, four married couples, were expected to survive and get along. So these guys at least have walls. So the rooms are very small, but they do have some privacy at night. So I, I thought that that was kind of important. You know, they, they have books and they have, you know, their own to toilet is here, which is kind of nice. You don't have to go outside and, you know, there's some snacks and they can sit and they can wash up or grab a drink of water or whatever. So it, it, it's pretty, pretty primitive by some standards and, and absolutely pretty amazing by others. And you know, they've got little seats out front, they've planted some flowers. This is home. This is not just a fighting place on the frontier. This is home. This is the front gate of the uh, of the fort. And you know, we have armor and, and it's kind of a guard room as well. And you'll see, you know, this is where we keep a lot of armaments and things like that in case we need them in a big hurry. And it opens into this enclosed area and then it opens out here finally into the front uh, the front of the fort and that that's the front entrance of Fort Finrod now there's some big news and by the time you guys see this actually um, some of well, a lot of you will know it already but unfortunately I am I am closing the district map this map that I'm on right now and I we are retiring Quillbriar as well there have been a lot of technical difficulties on Quillbriar that we have just not been able to get past because of the age of the version of Minecraft that we're using and uh, the mods we have and things like that so we're going to go into an updated one and some of the people from um, a few at a time a couple at a time from the district will be moving over into Quillbriar as we go and yeah, I will be moving this fort, however, because I love my little fort so much. I'm going to be moving this into the new map. So this is coming with me. It's not a complete loss. So we have sunflowers back here because A, I adore sunflowers. And B, you know, sunflower seeds are good for you. And we have some, um, some apiaries here. And we do have the occasional wild beehive up here, which, is, of course, is where we got our, our hives from. Here is a well with a nice bucket, and it does have water in it. This is just a little pond. We've got things there for sugar. Um, we've got a little cocoa plant here because chocolate is important in life. And I can fish. Just sit here and do some fishing. It's just a nice, quiet, little cozy place with some plants that have grown up around it. Nice and easy. Um, we've got our garden over here for the staples in life. We've got bread, berries. You know, we've got vegetables. There's a little bit of a fountain we put in there because we can, and you might as well make things pretty if you can. There's a couple of cows in a, a little pen back here. Again, you know, some food that comes out of the garden gets put in there. Some of it, of course, gets fed to the cows. That's all good. Flowers, because a lot of these are used for herbs and medicine, and some of them, of course, are just used because they're beautiful. Some more things growing here. There is the little barn on this side. You can look through the window there and see the little shed that the cows have got. So we've just, just got a couple, a couple of milk cows, nothing big and fancy. Again, another, um, another place where you can reach the walls on this side of the fort in case things should be coming from over here. And you can see around that side. And this is, um, you know, um, the top the top of this is enclosed but there's more armaments weapons and stuff like that up here just in case there's you know we need something on this side of the fort that is kind of emergency time so I love these props mod that allow us to do things like rakes and the, the wheelbarrows the little hummingbird feeder up here you know we're, we're trying to make this a home it's not just a place for death and destruction <laughs> Now, this was supposed to be a horse paddock, but pigs moved in, and, you know, that's cool. Pigs are, p pigs are people, too. Okay, the chickens are growing like crazy. There's their little shelter. Again, it's not close too much because it's, um, it's a pretty warm climate, so no big deal. Hello, little chickens. How are you? We get to collect our eggs here in the morning. Nice and fresh. Isn't that awesome? And in there is just a very rudimentary stall, just standing stalls with, with you know, some horses tied up that we can take out uh, past the pigs, apparently. 
and um, you know if we need to go out into uh, the wild blue yonder the prairies around here this is going to be the blacksmith shop once it's created so yeah there's the door the gate where you come out with the horses so the horses and pigs decided to move in together <laughs> <coughs> excuse me so this is the governor general's house now again you know we're out in the middle of nowhere there's nothing horribly fancy about any of it but it's a nice little place he's got a carpet that's always good he's got some art on the wall a nice clock um, the toilet is through here he's got you know the toilet a shower there's his little shower indoor plumbing that's very that's very handy a little broom some bath oils or whatever a place to sit and have his tea just a little galley style kitchen nothing too fancy in here there's some turkey cooking so dinner's going to be all ready here's some fresh herbs hanging to dry that you know we would use for spicing up our food and here's the bedroom now because he is you know this is a highly educated person and he is keeping notes and writing up a history on this really moss you know massively awesome modern machine called a typewriter this this is cool okay this is like cutting edge futuristic stuff going on here absolutely so he's keeping notes about what's been happening in the wild frontier and who knows, you know, maybe there's a book in it for him at the end. Now, <clears throat> I'll show you that in a minute. He's got the door to what will be a garden there. He's the only one that does have a private door. Well, the only private residence that has a private door. And here above the kind of main entrance and guard room, of course, there is another way to get up to the top. And um, an open area up here where we could fight from, should it be necessary. And that's just above the front entrance, of course. There's the prairies. There is a village over there, which would have been expanded into Larrington, a village called Larrington, but that will be, that will happen on the new map once it gets opened. We, so yeah, Quillbriar and the district are being closed and I'm opening a new map called Larrington, or not Larrington, <laughs> West March, a new map called West March, <laughs> where there will be a village called Larrington at some point. Oh, goodness. So back over here to the, what will be the kind of a main courtyard, the infirmary is here because, you know, you've got soldiers, you've got families, you've got people having babies, and, and there's the little hospital room, you know, bowls and water and stuff that's necessary. A nurse can stay on duty or, you know, here to look after serious cases. There are, again, herbs hanging there. <clears throat> that will be for... Um, you know, for med medicinal purposes. Now, these bits and bobs that are tucked in here are just because there's some things I want to remember. That is the main chapel. There will be a door that comes out. There is a garden here. This is pretty close to accurate for the actual Alamo. Actually, not too bad. Um, and then the Governor General, of course, has his private entrance to what will, you know, it'll be a little private garden. And hopefully there won't be too many tombstones. I don't want it to be a graveyard. I just want it to be a private garden. <laughs> so here in the back door of the infirmary, again, there are herbs that we've planted along here that we use for various things, for killing pain or inflammation, um, you know, that sort of thing. And there are some of them hanging from this little rafter thing above so they can dry out for use. Now this area here is just an open air spot where a lot of the day-to-day -day chores of the place get done. You know, we are cleaning skins here. We've got some wash tubs and a washboard. There's storage. We can hang clothes up here to dry even on a rainy day because this part of it is enclosed. You know, a crafting table there. <clears throat> so we can, you know, work out here. If the weather does get a little worse or, you know, just if it's even if it's too warm we can come down in here and, it, and it's quite cool down here and here's sort of the main kitchen now the governor general has his own kitchen but all the other meals for the fort are cooked in here and there, there's you see there's a lot of things going on there's more place to wash and hang clothing you can iron clothing now this is of course the kind of iron that used to have to heat on the, st the stones you'd heat up the piece of iron it's called an iron because it was a chunk of iron and you would heat it up on the fire and then you would press the clothes out with that afterwards and there is the big evening feast for the night um place over here to wash some dishes you know um 
more cooking surfaces, some storage, some chopping and preparing, and whatever sort of space here. This is where the you know the ladies can sit and spin out the wool while they're they can be chatting while they're doing all their various things. Over here, a lot of herbs that are made up for medicine. There are also the ones that are used for cooking. That sort of thing are all handled in here. Just a little spot if somebody has a baby. Baby can stay there. Children can sit here and play while the ladies are getting all their, their various you know bits of work done there. Keys to different parts of the, the fort. And this is a very low-ceilinged storage area. So we have eggs, we've got the fruit, the honey, the you know beer that might be made over there, various storage, extra plates in case they're needed. All the good things, just sort of a little cold storage area. These are, you know, rocks. This was just cut out of the rock and sometimes there'd just be a great big one and they just kind of built around it because it was just too hard to blast it out even. So just leave those sitting in there. <clears throat> so a nice area for working can keep the kids handy should they need to come out here for smellier things like working on tanning racks and there we go we've got the main the main whatever the guy that runs the place <laughs> lives in there a blacksmith shop to come places for horses we've got a small dairy we can go fishing. We have a, a, a good, steady, safe water supply. We've got gardens in. We've got places for wool. Lots of armor and weapons, should they ever become required. We've got trees for shade. There's almost like a main street here that you can walk along. Makes you feel like you're you know, completely trapped all the time. Extra storage over here. The barracks for the men over here. That's working out okay. I am loving this place so much. This is home. This is just where I get to live. And of course, we will have a huge chapel because that was such an important part of these early missions. Like the, the, the missions in San Antonio, there's a whole string of them. And the church was the center, the center of so many things, of community, of safety, of, uh, you know, food. There, there was just, there were so many things. The church was sort of the center of all that. So there'll be a really nice chapel in here. That will be where weddings take place, where parties happen, where meetings are held, and where people go sit to have tea on a rainy day when all the chores are done. So if I am, yes, no, yes, yes, I am in creative. I will get back here and give you a quick overview. These are the planes that they are around, these beautiful, beautiful sunflower planes. And unfortunately, the group has voted to have vanilla biomes. We will not have biomes of plenty. And I don't remember if these sunflowers are part of the new Minecraft or the biomes, but I really hope they're part of the new Minecraft because I love them. So we've made some effort to make the front gate pretty. And there are the walls. And there is Fort Finrod. And I am so happy playing in this place. Just come in and do some harvesting and replanting. And I can spend two or three hours in here at night not laying a block. Just kind of running around and um, taking care of the place. I love it. And I will be making a copy and lifting this whole thing and putting it into the new map because I like it far, far too much to live without it. Of course, some of the trees, you know, these, these biome, the plenty trees will disappear and I will have to find something else to replace them with. But for the most part, this is built in vanilla blocks and the mods that are here, like the props and that will be repeated in the other one anyway. So there'll be enough that I can certainly rebuild it and continue living in my little fort on the prairie. So until I see you next time, live your life happy, build it beautiful, and please hit like, subscribe, and all those lovely things that you do that I appreciate so much. And until I see you again, have a great time. Bye-bye.